Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the zombie books of Max L. Brooks. Now of course zombies were always big in the whole uh, world for quite a long time and way before uh, um, you know for past decades with like John Romero most is probably the first name that comes to mind but then again a lot of time the second name that would most likely come to mind would be Max Brooks the creator of this these books here and I think the reason why they um, that is because like um, I mean like I don't I can't think of any examples of uh, before well I'll just talk about the get started with this here I mean before uh, this I don't like I'm sure there's probably people who are like, hey, what would, uh, if there really was like a zombie apocalypse, like, how would you survive and stuff like that? But the, then, <clears throat> and then, um, but this is the first time that I can think of that actually sort of tackled that sort of question in a sort of serious manner, you know, like, yeah, how would you survive, you know? And, uh, you know, it gets into, like, all of the really complex detail, all of the little details, and how to, um, like, like, a, like, a, di what kind of different environments you're going to be surviving in, as well as, like, how, depending on what your goal, there's, uh, things like, um, uh, there's, uh, on the defense, on the run, and on the attack, and it was all about, like, how to do these three things in, like, all these different environments. And, uh, you know, how to survive in, like, different places like malls or hospitals or... Or actually, you should probably stay away from malls and hospitals, according to this. And, um... Uh, yeah, it was just so interesting. And, like, there's even, like, different, like... Things on, like, all the different weapons you can have, you can have and, um... Uh, yeah, one thing that I thought was kind of neat is like how he's, um, I, I don't remember where it was, but I think Max L. Brooks said himself that like, um, it's not really all that different from surviving other, uh, other natural disasters and that his zombie survival, uh, kit that he has is also, is his earthquake survival kit or whatever. And something that the CDC agreed on and even made its own little comic on uh, this, <clears throat> on like surviving a zombie apocalypse. And uh, yeah, it was, um, like I said, it's just a fantastic book with like all sorts of little survival stuff. And um, hang on, I think I have, uh, hang on. I have it somewhere around here. Ah, found it. Got it. And I even found. I even uh, eventually wound up buying uh, this. It's basically zombie survival guide as yeah, deck. You know, just a bunch of flashcards, um, which I thought was kind of neat and cool and stuff. And uh, yeah, and. Um, <clears throat> You know, I'm not. I know I'm not the only one who thinks this this book was really good because a lot of other people bought it and it became big. And um, yeah, and the next book that uh, he's talked about is, which is pretty much I think is the been uh, I think the reason why is the World War Z, the rec the oral history of the first zombie war, and. Um, Pretty much the same reason why uh, the zombie survival guide was so big and and you know so good is you know same for this you know it's like it gets into all the little details you know there's all sorts of uh, I mean the story is like there's this guy who's going around the world you know interviewing people like years after the zombie wars happened. And, uh, you know, there's all sorts of little stories, like, um, first is the, like, the obvious stuff, like the Battle of Yonkers, but then I think there's, um, 
a story of uh, people in space trying to survive. Um, there is a um, story of like people of like um, like um, in India with like um, them trying to like evacuate people onto this high mountain up there. Um, there is a like a there's a story about like filmmakers making like propaganda on how to, on um, soldiers using like laser guns to take out zombies and you know it's doing all this help to like raise morale um, and uh, d different like government programs to you know help people that were n that did not have any means of like survival like say a lawyer or a, <clears throat> or a, or um I don't know um internet guy like me possibly uh you know giving them like teach them how to like build stuff and hunt and shoot and stuff um it's just really fant fantastic and you know it's and of course, I've heard of the movie, though I have not bothered to watch it. I don't know, it's like, um, you can pretty much tell just by watching the trailer that it's going to be nothing like the book. And by that, I'm kind of assuming that it's probably not going to be as good as the book, though. From what I've heard, it seems to be, it actually is pretty good, though. You know, once again, nothing like the book. And, uh... Yeah. Um, there's also, uh, and if you notice that, um, there's also a, at the end of, uh, the zombie survival guide, there's a bit of a short story compilation at the end where they talk about the, you know, recorded attacks of, like, zombies, you know, rising, like, throughout the history of the world and what have you. And, um, yeah. And there was, and they eventually made that into the recorded attacks, which is a comic. And um, there, and there's a bunch of like stories there from like, you know, um, uh, you know, like a uh, caveman times to like ancient Rome, and I think like uh, the Cold War and stuff. But yeah, anyway, um, for my personal rating, I give. The Zombie Survival Guide, a 5 out of 5, because it's just fantastic with all the different details and how to survive and so forth. It's just uh, really interesting. The deck, the card deck, probably less so, you know. And I give World War Z another 5 out of 5, you know. Like, it has so many, like, once again, same as the survival guide you know it's always the little details and how detailed it is now the world really would react <clears throat> with to like a massive uh, zombie uprising and stuff just a fantastic read check him out read him yeah <clears throat> until uh, next time I'm gonna be uh, taking a look at the return of an old favorite of mine, or favorite series, I should say. Until then, see you later. Have a nice day. Please support your local libraries, bookstores, and so forth. And uh, yeah, see ya.